You know, this is something that none of us want to see, especially during the holidays. Fire ripping through someone's home. This is in the Normandy Estates area. Jeff already posted this video on his Twitter page. All of those heavy flames you see there, they caused a portion of that home to collapse. On your side, Troy Kless is live in front of that home on Emily's Walk Lane. And Troy, looking at those images, the first thing that comes to mind is did everyone make it out safely? Thank you, Keith. And yes, the answer to that question is everyone did make it out safely, but a scare initially this morning. Uh, a man that lives here says that he could hear his grandmother screaming, and that's when he woke up and noticed what ended up being the fire at this home here and on Emily's walk lane. So he says that it happened around eight o'clock this morning and they're not exactly sure what caused it just as of yet. But flames, as you saw in that video earlier, were coming through the roof of this house and there was smoke showing from the second floor. Jackie Din lives here with his grandmother and two siblings, and he says their family just had a large party for Christmas here at the home yesterday. And he says that he's thanking God that no one was hurt. I heard some and I was like, I think I, it has to be a fire. So I walked out of my room and then uh, I seen the, all flames in the back. So I just ran out, ran out, went to my neighbors, asked them for help. And then um, they called 911, whatever. We tried to spray it down and then that's, we couldn't do nothing else. Din says he's not, again, what sure caused the fire. And even the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department says at one point they pulled firefighters out due to their safety because part of the home was collapsing. They've also called in an investigator to determine what exactly caused this fire. We're live here in the Normandy Estates area. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.